when it comes to the resume itself, and I hear this from people in all of the trades, but coincidentally, well, there's more of Zop. Josh, what does my writing matter? You're never gonna pay me to write. And you're right, you guys are correct. You're never gonna get a paycheck based on how you conjugate a verb or how you use a thesaurus. But as tradespeople, what are we hiring you for? Anyone have any idea? Thoroughness, attention to detail, willingness to take the extra step and get things right rather than cutting corners and getting them wrong. And if you're working in aviation on a landing gear for Boeing, cutting corners and getting things wrong can mean hundreds of lives or millions of dollars lost. So it's serious stuff. And in the day and age of the online application and the phone interview, before I see you, before I see your welds, I see your resume. It's your best chance to put your most professional foot forward before I ever even call you. So if I open that thing up and there's 27 red underlines on it in Word and it takes me less than three minutes to write most click my way through and fix it, what have I seen? Potential employee that didn't even take three extra minutes to take consideration of my time, my company's work, and my client's money. You're not even getting a call back from me. So make sure that you guys are putting that work in on that resume once because you never have to put that work in again. <clears throat>